Hello, my people. It's your redneck from Kelly Nate. Uh, sorry for the background noise. You got the fan going. It's still warm as it gets in Ventura right now. Uh, and it takes forever to cool down here in the houses because we ain't got AC. So stick with me. I know it's loud in the background, so I'm definitely going to try to speak up a little bit so you guys can hear me. Um, it is new comic book week, and uh, we did show them off yesterday during the Cine Comic stream, but what I want to do is show you guys as well, because now everybody can come out and watch the stream. So first up, we got the Short Stories, Volume 1 of Hellboy. So we picked this, got this one, and then finally, finally, it came in. Volume 1, Seed of Destruction, Hellboy Omnibus. So, was super glad to finally get this one. So, I only need Volume 4 and then Short Stories 2, and then we're, we're done with Omnibuses. Yay! Um, but then, of course, we did get a big stack of comics for this week. So, first up, we got Hunt for Wolverine, number 4. This, of course, will end the uh, this part of the series as we get ready for... Return for, of Wolverine coming up, so the way it's going to work, you're going to get through number four for Weapon Lost, uh, Mystery Mad Report, Adamantium Agenda, and then the other one, uh, Claws of the Killer. We'll get done with that. They'll have a special issue called Wolverine Dead Ends, which kind of puts all of it together, and then Return of Wolverine will start. With that being said, we also got the Variant Edition. Alright, then we got the Psychedelic Dazzler cover. Um, with the new Astonishing X-Men on it. Glad to finally see her back in X-Men books. So if you didn't get a chance to read, go read that Dazzler one-shot um, that came out, I think it was a month or two ago. Go grab that one. X-Men Gold, number 33. X-Men Gold Annual, number 2. All new Weapon X, number 21. And my boy, who's been killing it with books lately, Donnie Cates, Cosmic Ghost Rider number two. And then we got a couple of the variants. We got Ghost Rider on the Throne. So, freaking awesome. And then, this is a cool cover. Cosmic Ghost Rider number two. Uh, look, Infinity Wars, um, Prime came out last week, so this week Infinity Wars itself started, so big shock in this book. I'm not going to spoil it, but you need to read this book. If you like anything like Guardians of the Galaxy, Warlock, Thanos, anything like that, you need to read this book. And it's Infinity Wars, number one. That's the regular cover. I got a couple of the variants with it as well. And this this was a cool cover. I like this one. Now, there is that 1 in 50 variant one as well, but I actually like this one better. I love the Warlock with Thanos on the cover. We got The Life of Captain Marvel, the Art Germ variant. I was waiting for this version to come out. I know the regular one came out last week, but I wanted that version. Uh, we got the Immortal Hulk, number four. And then, this is also a Fantastic Four month, so they started coming out with their variants this week. And I had to have this one. And it's the Immortal Hulk variant. Of course, it's got my favorite Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, and Ghost Rider. I loved it when they, they were being the Fantastic Four when the other ones were taking a break. And then... We got the Deadpool variant version, Fantasy IV version, so we had to get that one. I love that cover. Um, and then we got Captain America number two with that Alex Ross cover. So this is kind of a, a really good book for people to read if you haven't read Cap in a while. Um, you know, of course, he was kind of hidden for a while. Because there was a fake Captain America that came out that was Hydra Cap, and then the new Cap came, the real Cap came back, and then so this is kind of his story after all of that. So definitely a good read. Um, Curse of Brimstone from DC, of course, number five. Justice League number five, of course, this is 
labeled Legion of Doom. The Legion of Doom has returned. So I'm actually happy for that. You got that whole Super Friends feel. Uh, and we got Go Go Power Rangers number 12. Part of Shattered Grid, of course. And then the variant for Shattered Grid. So that is it for books as far as Hypno goes. But that wasn't all I got at Hypno. Let me show you what else I got. I've got the Venom. Venom Wave. So we got Typhoid Mary. Of course, you get Venom, because it is the Venom Wave, you know. We got Scream and Carnage. But that's not all she wrote, people. We found, we got some more. We got, a, we got some more. We got another bag. We got Spider Ham. So, yeah. And then. Here. And of course, the last one to finish up the wave is Poison. So, I really like the artwork in this one. Um, it's definitely cool. I love the white style of the, uh, the actual boxes. So, I would probably still keep these boxes. I usually throw away all my Marvel Legends boxes, unless it's a like a carded one, like up there somewhere. Um, I usually don't don't keep them, but I am probably going to keep this. I like the white one. But then I also got. The purple hair Psylocke. Um, there and there's a lot going on with the Psylocke. There's three versions of it. There's the first version, which is the black haired one from Walgreens. Uh, you got the running change, which is the purple one with the light suit, and then there's another purple one with a metallic suit. So this one is the normal version, the purple hair with the regular purple suit, the non-metallic one. This is your normal one. This is the one I'm, I'm going to open. And then I also got a multiple man because you need multiple multiple men to make a multiple man army. So, but my army consists of three, and there's only a reason why. There's three heads. I want three figures to have the three heads. So yeah, that is what we got from Hypno. Um, and let's put you here because there's a lot more today. And let's see what box. Okay, so we got a couple boxes in. These are courtesy of my boy, the Geek Italian, Mike Fazzini. Um, I got some stuff from him and he sent it out. And so let's see, what did Fuzz send Nate in the box? Because I'm always interested to see what's in these boxes. Oh, and by the way, this is going to be a longer video, guys, so if you haven't already got your snacks and your drinks, you're going to want to sit down for a little bit. I probably should have prefaced that when I first started the video, but uh, I'm telling you now. All right. and wrapping and more wrapping. Well, as you always have to do yourself in the wrapping, man. I'll tell you that. All right. Good grief, that's some bubble wrap. I know what I'll be using that for. I got some more packages to send out to other people. One second. All right. I think we're good from there. Man. That's some tape for it, brother. It'll take me a second. All right, so you guys hold on one second. Let me get this stuff out. I'll be right back. Okay, we got through all the plastic wrap. <laughs> it was, ah, as I stabbed myself with my own knife. Um, yeah, buddy. I'm glad he does it the way he does it. So we got... So for the clear, New Mutants 87 slab, and that is a 
to go into this slidey slab pile. So, thank you first. All right. And then we got another box in first. So, let's see. Let's see how much stuff is in this one. And typically when Fuzz sends it in a box like this, it's always slab books. He usually does it differently for like regular times. So it tells me it's a slab. It's a slabby slab. The seeing is that this is a bigger, heavier package, I'm assuming there's multiple in this. Alright, see now this one came right off compared to the other one, so to speak. Bad man of dental. Cause that that other that other bag was like tied up and tied up. That took me a good five six minutes just to get all the plastic wrap off. Y'all getting busy watching me spin this thing yet? All right. Oh, he pulled a fast one. These are comics, just regular comics in here, but it's a big old stack of comics. So let's see. What we got? Alright, first up we got New Mutants number 20. Alright, Birds of Prey number 71. This is a cool cover. Virgin Iron Fist. I love this cover. I, I don't have any, this is my first Virgin, like all Virgin cover. Say the truth. Uh, we got Wolverine, Debt of Death. Uh, let's see. We have Mark Millar and Steve McNevins, Nemesis. Um, this is the Dynamic Forces cover, and it does have the certificate on the back. Uh, we got X Factor number two. Amazing Spider-Man 324, and the reason I want that is that guy right there. I love that classic old saber tooth. You just don't see that often in good on the books. Uh, we have Thor 179 and one of my favorite artists, which you just don't see too often, Bernie Wrightson and those guys. And that was Swamp Thing number 12. And this is Swamp Thing number 15. And we got Deadpool number 10. And this is a cool cover. This, and that's the only reason why I got this one. Avengers 167 with Beast on the cover. I love the old Avengers books with Beast on the cover. Uh, we got Swamp Thing number 13. Number 18. Number 22. Number 24. And then DC Special number 1. They don't make me at ease anymore, people. So, yeah. So, Fuzz, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it, man. All right. Next up, let's see what's in the box. We have a box. This is from my boy, Josh Pence. So Josh, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it, man. And let's see what he's saying. And it's always cool because, like, he'll send me these, in these boxes from work. Like, all these old, like, uh... It says straight chrome supply ball stop, no lead. So it's a this was like a what a faucet came into, or a spigot. So uh, it's always funny when I get these ones in. It's like if you guys notice, I'll send uh, diaper boxes to some guys, um, and the reason being, it's just a running joke on it. It really is, you know, is that. Oh, 
So let me show you what we got in said box. Alright. So I've been wanting this set for a while. Um, it's been on my want list for a bit. Uh, I just never got it. And let me get them out of the package for plastic real fast. Um, and it was really nothing special, you know, these people probably saw these, but I really never saw these in the store. Um, but what we got is, we got Hicks and Hudson. So yeah, here, hold on one second. So we got Hudson and Hicks. And of course it comes with all their accessories and their baggies and stuff, so game over man. Game over. So Josh, thank you so much man. These are definitely going my NECA set with all my aliens. So I appreciate it, brother. Alright. Next up we got this is a box from my boy KJ Marshall. So KJ, um he had hit me up on I think it was a live stream one time. I said I needed this figure and I couldn't find it nowhere and nobody else could really find it either hardly. Um, he said, I think my Walgreens has it. Let me go see if they got it. And so he hit me up, I think it was like three or four days ago, and he said, hey, they got it, do you need it? He said, yes, I still need it. He said, I got you. So, KJ, you're the man, man. I appreciate it, brother, uh, for getting this for me. Because I've been, I slept on it, you know, and that was the thing is like, I thought, okay, it'll be one of those ones that I can find again, and nope, it was gone with the end, and, and this was before um, you could easily find anything like this either, too, so let's see, got us some packing paper, we got us some bagging, ooh, we got lettuce, I like lettuce. All right, let's read what it says. To Nate, the Syndicate Santa Simmons. As a viewer of yours, I watch you pick up a lot of things for fellow collectors. I'm seriously surprised that you didn't already have this figure. So as a gift to you for all the gifts that you give, this is yours to complete your uh, DBS wave. Also a fan of the Cindy Comics stream whenever I get a chance to watch. Enjoy and keep the love for Dragon Ball alive. KJ Marshall, AKA Keyshawn Marshall. So Keyshawn, um, he, he's been with me for a long time. I mean, literally, before I even was doing the Cindy Comic stream, he's been with me, riding with me for a long time. Um, so he's been loyal and faithful to us, and I appreciate it. Um, and dude, I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart for this for this figure. And whatever I can do to help you out, man, I want to try to do it uh, because I. We got Zamasu, and I needed this boy. I needed this guy badly because I never saw him. I, to this day, I've still not seen him. Um, I saw the Super Saiyan Trunks, uh, Future Trunks. I saw the blue Goku, and I saw the Jiren because I've got the Jiren. Um, but the other ones, nope. Um, and for me, I'm not really worried about building the Fusion Bath. The, the Fusion Zamasu, I just wanted the Zamasu to go with my Goku Black, with my SH one, so, KJ slash Keyshawn Marshall, thank you brother from the bottom of my heart, thanks brother. Alright people, we got some more, so let's see, we got us a baggie, and this one is from Amazon, um, so let's see what Amazon sent us. Yeah. All right, so what we got, we'll just take that off. It's kind of ridiculous. It's already open. Uh, makes it a little easier, though. We got Repugness. Now, of course, this is part of the Primor Trilogy set. Um, this is, of course, the Titan's Return one. 
Um, as you guys can see in there, he does come with a uh, Solus Prime. Um, and what's cool is that if you got the little repugnance that came around, so this is more of the uh, toy head. If you've got the old little bitty uh, Prime Ma or Titan Master uh, repugnance, that's got the cartoon head. So if you've got both, you've got both the best worlds. So, um, so Amazon, thank you guys, I appreciate it. I'm only waiting on uh, the last one to come in, uh, Punch Counter Punch, um, and hopefully that they said they'll be in like September sometime. So we'll have to see when it shows up. Um, so thank you, Amazon. And then the last package of said day. And me and a lot of people have been waiting on this one, including my boy, uh, Plastic Addict, Rude the Great, and Tech Chucker's Brain Blast. Uh, we've all been waiting on this to come in because we had pre ordered this a long time ago. Um, so, somebody uh, So, I have been waiting diligently for this one to come out. Uh, everybody else has got theirs pretty much already. But, um, and I had a, had a chance to get it at the, the SDCC, but since I already pre-ordered it, we got the Turtles. Yes, people, we have the movie Turtles. And let's just take this out. And, of course, this is from NECA. Um, as you guys can see, they're all inside. Um, I'll probably open these up and take some pictures later because I've been wanting this set for a long time. Do not get me wrong, the quarter scale set, quarter scale tables look amazing. I just don't have room for them at all. Um, these guys I got room for. I can put these on my shelf and so I got my SH Pigwarts cartoon ones and now I got my NECA movie ones. So NECA, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Now I, like I said, I do want to give a big shout out to everybody, uh, Hypno Comics, Josh Pence, of course, Mike Fazzini, the Geek Italian, um, KJ Marshall, and of course Amazon, thank you for the Transformers, but we just excited people. Alright now, this has been your Redneck and Kelly Nate, you guys take it easy and have a good one, and take it easy. Alright, alright, alright.